Okay, so now we're we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, actually initiating mechanical ventilation. Um, and what we'll do is we'll start from a, a new adult patient. So we've already hooked up the tubing. Um, the ventilator's ready to go. It's plugged in. The tubing's good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and initiate mechanical ventilation. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, just to familiarize you with the setup of this ventilator, the interface, um, on the top here, this is going to be information about the patient. So I have a little bar here, and this will give, and then a little if with every breath, a little bar will move up and down, and that'll give me my PIP or my peak inspiratory pressure. I'll have information that'll that'll um, uh, every every few seconds that'll change on this this bar here, and it'll give me flow, ID ratio, peak inspiratory pressure, um, calculated flow. I think I already mentioned that um, rate, minute ventilation, and so on. Now you can manually, you can hit the select button and manually select whatever information you want to monitor. So this is information about the patient up here. Uh, this right here, this little uh, blue area, and that actually corresponds to this little blue area here. This is stuff that we set. Um, so this tells us about the patient here, and this, these are controls that we set in the ventilator. So you can see I have my breath rate, my tidal volume, my pressure control, if I do pressure control ventilation, my inspiratory time, my pressure support, if I have SIMV. Um, this is the uh, O2 percent or the FiO2. My sensitivity, this is a um, flow-based sensitivity, um, so it would be in liters per minute, um, the on-off button. Um, this selects between volume control ventilation, pressure control ventilation. This selects between assist control SIMV slash CPAP, and then NIPPV or non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, which is which is uh, basically analogous to BiPAP. This is my inspiratory or expiratory hold button. This allows me to do check for auto peep and uh, check the plateau pressure. This is to give a manual breath. This is low pressure O2 source. This is um, if I have a setup, I can bleed in uh, low pressure oxygen uh, to increase or decrease my FiO2. This ventilator has its own compressor. It doesn't necessarily need a compressed oxygen gas source to run, and in fact, all of the um, all the stuff that I'll be doing on this ventilator today will be done on room air. It has a very effective compressor. I believe it can deliver um, up to something like 20 liters per minute, or 120 uh, liters per minute of flow um, on its own. Uh, this over here is the PEEP, and this is a little selector dial. This, this is what we use to go up and go down on our setting just like this up and down and there's a little indent where you can put your finger thumb in these are all of my alarm settings here um, this is my high pressure limit alarm my low pressure um, limit alarm and then my low minute ventilation alarm and um, just to the just to the right here um, so there's this button here for the low minute ventilation just to the right of it you can't see it you, we will show it to you here in a minute um, is the silence uh, slash uh, alarm reset. So this button over here and this button over here are probably the two most important buttons that we have to deal with. So let's go ahead and turn the ventilator on. I'm going to hold it. The ventilator will turn on. It'll run a self-test and it'll ask me if I want to do the same patient. I don't want to do that so what I'm going to do is with this selector here you can see I either new or same. I'm going to go ahead and select new and then I'm going to hit the select button here and it's going to ask me infant, pediatric, or adult and there are generic settings for each um, patient so let's go ahead and just select adult for now I hit select and you can see that it automatically put in some default settings for just a generic adult it gives me a rate of 12, tidal volume of 500 um, you can see that this is really bright here and this is bright, and this is bright, this is bright, and this is bright, but this is dim, and this is dim here. If this is, uh, you see something dimmed out, what that means is that's something that you can't use in the current mode um, or the current type of ventilation, ventilation you're using. Um, so you can see over here that I'm in volume control ventilation, so my pressure control is um, dimmed out because I, there's, no, I, there's no need for this because I'm in volume control ventilation. You can also see that my mode is assist control. 
so my pressure support is dimmed out because there's simply no need for pressure support in assist control ventilation. And you can also see that I have some default alarm settings. Uh, my, my pressure limit 40, low pressure 10, low minute ventilation 3 liters, and my PEEP is 0. And there, of course, is a silence um, slash reset button. So to change a setting is actually quite easy. So let's say that I want to decrease my respiratory rate to 8. I'll go ahead and select that. Everything else will dim out. That'll be lit brightly. And then with the selector knob, I'll select that again. I'll go ahead and decrease the rate to 8 and then hit select again and it accepts that. If I fail to hit select it will wait um, I believe up to 5 seconds and then put in whatever you happen to select. Um, likewise let's say that I want a tidal volume of 400 milliliters. I select that everything else dims out the tidal volume stays lit and then I'll go ahead and decrease it and we will go to 400 milliliters. Hit select again and it accepts it. Um, now if you can see up here just like I said this is every breath this little bar goes up and that's my peak inspiratory pressure. Now I can also uh, monitor the PIP down here as well. You can see that this is scrolling through um, different information. So let's go ahead and just manually scroll through different types of information here and see what we have. So this is my PIP. My peak inspiratory pressure is 24. This is my mean airway pressure, which is 4. This is my PEEP, which says I have 1 of PEEP here. This is my rate. This is my, and you can see uh, F is uh, for frequency, which is rate. That's 8 breaths a minute. Of course, that's what I have set. This is my VTE or my exhaled exhaled tidal volume. It's 423. I have it set at 400. So I have just a little more going out than it's going in. This is VE, that's minute ventilation, 3.3 liters per minute. And of course, minute ventilation is just the respiratory rate times the tidal volume. And this is my IDE ratio, it's 1 to 6.5. This is V-Calc, or my calculated flow, 32 liters per minute. Now, on this ventilator, we don't actually um, directly set our flow, like the CrossVent 4, where you actually use your flow to manipulate your ID ratio. On this ventilator, what we do is we use the inspiratory time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the I time, and that should increase the flow and I decrease the I time to 8 and you can see I now have a flow or 0 0.8 seconds I now have a flow of 40 liters if I increase the flow back up to 1 second my flow then goes back down to 32 so I'm gonna go ahead and select the flow and let's go ahead and put it at 0 0.8 seconds and that'll give me a flow of 40 liters per minute you'll also notice that that changes your IDE ratio so we'll scroll through and take a look at our IDE ratio now 1 to 6.5, what I can do is let's go ahead and increase the inspiratory time. That'll decrease the flow. And now I have an ID ratio of 1 to 4.8. But if I go ahead and decrease, you can see that my ID ratio goes back down to 1 to 6.5 with an increased I time. Um, if I decrease the I time, of course, I'm going to have a longer ratio increase the eye time a shorter ratio we'll go ahead and set it back down at 0 0.8 seconds <clears throat> and in the next video or the next uh, video we'll go ahead and talk about um, changing between modes and volume and pressure control ventilation thanks for hanging in there guys